Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rucker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you this really awesome trick inside of Adobe After Effects where you can change the view from your window and transition from one view into another. So as you'll see, in order to do this effect we first need some footage of you pointing the camera out of the window. So in my example the camera pushes towards the window and the camera flies through the window very slowly. Now in order to do this effect we first need to begin by tracking the camera's movement. So in order to do this we first need to go into effects and presets and search for the 3D camera tracker. Now we'll drop 3D camera tracker onto our footage and we're going to let the computer analyse the footage. Now once the computer has finished analysing your footage you'll notice all of these different tracking points have been created. Now you want to select a tracking point that is outside, you don't want to select a tracking point inside, you want to select a tracking point that sits on the landscape. And once you've found one of these tracking points you want to select it with your cursor and you'll get three yellow dots appear. Right click from here and create new null and camera. Now from here we'll drag our new image and this is going to be the new landscape at the very top of After Effects so this should be sitting on top of everything. And before we do anything we want to convert this from a 2D layer to a 3D layer. So we're just going to select this box that will convert this layer into a 3D layer. And as you will see as we move in time this is going to follow the camera movement that was created from the 3D camera tracker. You can really see this if we decrease the scale, so if we decrease the scale to around 16%, as the camera travels through the window, that new image is going to travel with the camera's movement. So in order to make this effect look really realistic, we need to increase the scale of this image and make sure that it's always filling up that window, regardless of where the camera is. So once you're happy with that, we can now go ahead and we can duplicate our footage, so that's the original footage of the window, and we'll drag the duplicated layer onto the very top so this should sit on top of absolutely everything. And now from here we'll just go ahead and delete the 3D camera tracker from this duplicated layer. So we're going to go into the roto brush and we're basically going to cut out the window for the entire duration of the shot. So select the roto brush, increase the size of your brush and then we're just going to paint a massive squiggle all over your footage so make sure that your entire footage is covered with green. Now after this you'll notice there is a pink border around the outside of your frame and this is great. So once you've got that we now need to hold option on our keyboard and now we need to go ahead and we need to paint over the window and this is basically going to remove that part of the window. Now it's super important that this is clean, you want to make sure that all parts of the window, all parts of the view have a border around it. So make sure this pink border perfectly sits around the window. Now from here we're going to press the space bar and that's going to let the computer analyse the entire footage going forward. Now After Effects is extremely intelligent and it will remove all of the video that you did select to delete. But some bits of footage can accidentally fall through the net and this means some parts of the window will remain in the final footage. So it's up to you to keep your eye on the footage as the computer's analysing each individual frame. And if part of the window appears again and you get a pink border around the middle of the window, you want to select option and squiggle over that part with the red brush to remove it. So as soon as you've completed that, if we come back out of the roto brush and we go to the composition, if we solo that top layer, you notice that we have our original footage but there is a big black gap where the window used to be. So if we unsolo that layer and we turn everything back on, you'll notice that the new image, that new view, that new landscape that we added in is now sitting behind the window. And this is exactly what we need. So from here, all we need to do is transition this new view in from the old view. So in order to do this, we're going to go into effects and presets and we're going to go into transition and drag gradient wipe on top of the new landscape. From here we want to create a brand new keyframe on the transition completion at 0% and then we want to pull the cursor head back in time so you want to pull this over to the left by about 1 second or 2 seconds and pull this all the way up to 100% and by doing so you'll see that the old, the original view has appeared and if we play this back you'll see the transition is now taking place and that new view is coming in. If the transition was a little bit too quick for you then you can always increase the gap between the keyframes if you want to slow this transition down 
But once you're happy with the look of that, that is how you do the window view transition effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.